Hey, what's up? So, my name's Nathan, uh, and this is going to be the Doctor Strange fan cast. I started this basically because I couldn't find a podcast about Doctor Strange. I'm new to Doctor Strange. Until the movie, I had only really seen him in passing in comics, and largely I didn't really care for him. To me, Doctor Strange was this easy way out for writers. When they couldn't figure out a solution, it was like, oh, and then Doctor Strange shows up and magic's it all to be better. He seemed way too omniscient, too omnipresent, and I think because of that, I never really gave his comics a chance. However, all that changed after the movie. I was so blown away by the movie that I realized I clearly haven't given Doctor Strange a chance. So with this cast, I'm going to go through his comics and see if I was right or wrong about him. Okay, so let's open with a little bit of history on the character here. He was created by Steve Ditko and Stan Lee, and Doctor Strange's first appearance was in Strange Tales number 110 in July of 1963 during the Silver Age of comic books. Just like the movie shows, he was a narcissistic surgeon that got into a car accident, ruining his hand so he could no longer perform surgery. As he traveled the world to find some way to repair his hands, he encountered the old one and became a student, learning both the mystic uh, mystic and martial arts. These days, he's referenced as the Sorcerer Supreme, the primary protector of Earth against mystical and magical threats. All right, in just glancing through the works he's including in, uh, it doesn't do a whole lot to steer me away from the original idea that he was just an easy way out for writers. Other than his comic runs, he doesn't have much out there uh, that's solo. He's typical comic runs. He doesn't have much out there uh, that's solo. He's typical. Mm, yeah, he's typically loaded into other characters' material. There was a live-action movie. What? I guess this is back in 1978. Uh, direct to DVD animated movie in 2007. I'll have to f- look that up. And then almost everything else looks like cameos or support roles. And shows and games, looks like. There's a novel Doctor Strange, Master of the Mystic Arts Nightmare. And that's from 1979. I'll have to look that up. It looks like he's referenced in a song by Mambo Sun by T-Rex on Electric Warrior. But yeah, so seems like he's largely been used as a support character. So this will be interesting, uh, adventuring into the mystical realm. In thinking about what was the best way to go about this, um, I thought about how I got into Doctor Who. I was introduced to Doctor Who through Christopher Eccleston's Doctor, I kept seeing Doctor Who merch on uh, ThinkGeek, and I didn't really know what it was about, so I checked out the first season of Doctor Who, uh, the new series, and I, then I got super into it, and I just raced through everything up until Matt Smith at that time. Uh, then I started the classic Who stuff, and I've been working my way through that. I'm currently on the fourth Doctor. Uh, I'm in his last season. I did the same with Aquaman. Uh, I started with the New 52, realized I loved what was going on with the character, and I had no idea how cool he was. Then I backtracked through all the old runs. Uh, Having started with the movie for Doctor Strange, I figured some more of the recent comics will probably give me a sense of where the character is at now, and then I can trace the path of how he got there. Uh, Pop and open Comixology, uh, the top result in Doctor Strange is... Uh, volume 1, The Way of the Weird. Looks like a five-volume run from 2015 to 2018. So, uh, that seems like a good place to start, so I'll do that on the next cast. Uh, if you've been looking for a Doctor Strange podcast, come along with me as I dip into like uh, a little bit of what's going on there. Again, I have... Little to no exposure other than the brief passes I've seen in other comic books like Spider-Man and stuff like that. Uh, I saw him in Ghost Rider, obviously. the I mean, He's always guest appearance, so I don't know. Um, so I'll take a look at the comics that inspired the movie. Uh, it looks like the novel and anything else he appears in to try to get like a full experience and understanding of Doctor Strange. I think it may take a long time, judging by all the guest appearances... 
Um, but this will be something that I do off the side uh, as additional content for the core podcast that we're doing, um, me and my buddy Mike. Um, but we're going to open up with some other stuff just to try to build uh, a basic uh, content awareness of our podcast. Uh, and this will be just something that I do in addition to it. Comixology is about to make a pretty dime off me, uh, I think, for this venture. Um, I have a Patreon account for some of my side projects, um, so if this turns into a money pit, you'll likely hear me start plugging the Patreon page um, to try and help fund some of this stuff so I don't run myself into a, a hole trying to make content. But we aren't there yet, so... Um, they said a song. Where was that? Mambo Son by T-Rex. Okay, so I'm going to end with that. Oh, you.